Hi, I'm Gabby. And I'm Justin. Welcome, Welcome to, to FLTV, FLTV News. News. As you know, it's a new year for the students here at Faith and a new year for the TV production room. Let's take it over to Dominic to see what our students' New Year's resolutions and what they are excited for in the new year. Dominic? Thanks, Justin. We went around this new year to ask students what they did over Christmas break. Played COD. I visited my grandparents in California. I hung out at home and played games with my sister. I then went around campus to ask some of the students what their New Year's resolutions were going to be for 2013. My New Year's resolution is to be nicer. Uh, to keep my room clean. Um, to study more of God's Word and to get involved in more after school activities. Finally, I asked students if they thought 2013 would be better than 2012. Um, I think it's going to be better because we're um, the stock market can go up. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it'll be the same. Yes, because it's a new year and a new start for you to change your opinions on things. Well, I know this year's going to be great. For FLTV, I'm Dominic. Back to you at the studio. Thanks, Dominic. I hear next year is going to be a great one. Yeah, with all these new additions to the school, it'll be great. Yeah, I wonder what they're working on. Let's catch up with Marcello and check out what they're working on. Hi, I'm Marcello Nazotti. I'm going to tell you about the new programs at Faith Lutheran for next year. Mr. Boline tells us what some of the new programs at Faith for next year are and how it affects us as a school. Well, we're starting with our pre-STEM pre program, which is science, technology, engineering, and math where it will actually be stamped on the transcripts that they have an internship and they're going to be students are going to be able to take classes that they're more interested in and it's going to offer a wide variety it's going to get us out there more um, you know they, like i said they'll be doing internships so of so many hours and the, all the gpas that it takes to get in and it gets our gets us out in the community with our students same with the advocacy the um, the JNA, which Ms. McAllister is starting. Also, there's going to be an internship, and it's going to be what kids are passionate about, so they're going to perform well in that and want to do well. So. Talk to said they're applying to the new programs at Faith next year. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, joining the STEM program. Uh, yeah, I'm about to do STEM, you know, that's where it's at. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the STEM program. Well, I hope you join some of the new programs for next year. I'm Marcello for FLTV, signing off. Sports here at Faith are really picking up. I know, right? They should have some sort of sports center. That's funny you say. Let's check out what Dalton's up to at our new FLTV Sports Center. Thanks, Gabby. Mr. Cody has recently stepped down from head football coach. Lizzie? Thanks, Dalton. And we'd like to congratulate Mr. Cody on his many years of coaching varsity football. Um, well, I've done it for for 12 years and si coached 16 total, and it was uh, it was just time. And I've, I have an opportunity to do some other things in the administration that I couldn't do as a football coach, so it was just a good time for me to do that. Mr. Cody thinks he will succeed with the new head football coach. Well, I'm very confident that uh, we're going to get a great uh, football coach, and so I think the team's going to do great. Thanks, Dalton. Hey, Justin, do you remember when you were baptized? No, I was pretty little at the time. Me too. But let's catch up with some students who do remember their baptism. Justin? What? No, the other Justin. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. Recently, 27 students were baptized. Let's see how the chapel was run, and let's see what, they, what people thought about it. Well, we do the, the chapel pretty much the way we normally do, and then we have a baptism service right within that. Um, and the pastor will come up and invite uh, all the, the members who are going to be uh, baptized to come up with him and then they'll talk through uh, a whole process where they'll profess their faith in Jesus and um, renounce sin which is always a part of the baptism process and uh, they'll light candles and, and that's something that they can take with them and, and uh, use to commemorate their baptismal birthdays from now on. Let's see what baptisms mean to some students. Uh, I think baptism is um, your old self dying and then your new self rising up. It's like it's like being reborn again, just like in a new way. I think it's a great way to strengthen your relationship with Christ. 
I think baptism is a great way to connect with God. Baptisms change and affect people's lives in a few ways. Well, it's hard to say. On, on an individual basis, there are 28 different people being baptized, and uh, I'm sure they'll all be affected in a lot of different ways. Um, I think when you're baptized, you're changed. Uh, I think the Bible's really clear about that. You may not feel like there's some big, um, overwhelming change in your life, but uh, it's a way that God works forgiveness. It's a way that God calls you into his family, and uh, I think that's going to happen for everybody. Um, I think it's going to change your life, like, forever and it's just going to be like a big part of their life. I got to strengthen my relationship with Christ and I was ready to become a Christian, so it affected me and I got to become a Christian. Looks like the baptisms went well. This is Justin Chung for TV. Back to you, Gabby. Thanks, Justin. That was really interesting. You know what else is interesting? Those cheerleaders. It's really intense. Sounds dangerous. Well, let's go check out Maddie on the scene. Maddie? I'm Maddie for FLTV bringing you the inside scoop on Jane's cheer accident. Let's get some more information from some eyewitnesses. Well, there were three stunt groups up and one of them fell and it caused um, all of the stunt groups to fall. And then Jaden um, fell from heel stretch, extension heel stretch, and she landed on her arm and broke it in three places. Um, well, Jaden fell from an extension heel stretch onto her arm and she broke it in three places. Some cheerleaders tell us what emotions and thoughts were going through their head at that time. Um, I felt really bad for Jaden because it wasn't like there was nothing she could have done to even save herself a little bit, and I was scared that she wasn't going to be okay, but she is, so that's good. Um, yeah, I was scared because I, I just thought of like all the things that could have happened when she fell, not knowing what actually happened. We also asked the cheerleaders if they were injured too. No. No, because I was just and a half, so it was fine. Some of her friends wanted to give a little message to Jaden for support. We love you, Jaden, and miss you. Good luck. Feel better. Stay strong, Jaden. I know you can make it through this. I love you, Jaden, and I hope you get better soon. I'm really sorry about what happened, but it's going to be okay. Please pray for Lauren Check and Jane Madsen for a quick recovery. For FL TV, I'm Maddie. Back to the studio. Thanks, Maddie. You know, Justin, I'm all about different uniforms to wear. Well, you're in luck. Faith is opening up a brand new student store for the new 2013 year. Garrett has the deets on this. Garrett? Thanks, Justin. <laughs> students told us if they have heard of the new student store. Yes, I have. No. Some students wonder what will be sold. I think they'll sell school supplies and school clothes. Maybe some uniforms because uh, campus club's far away and it's hard to get there, so maybe it will be more convenient for students to buy clothes there. Mr. Danning tells us what will be sold in the store. Well, you know, everybody's required to wear a uniform, and uh, you have to go off-site to order your stuff. You have to wait for it, and we just thought, you know, that you know, we would have better control if we could have the stuff available here to the students and you could go in and buy it and not have to wait. Mr. Danning explains if the school will make money from the store. The store will make a profit, uh, a small profit. We'll try to, we'll try to keep the uniforms uh, priced as close as they are right now, you know, and then the rest of the money will go into the general fund to help improve the rest of the school. For FLTV, I'm Garrett. Thanks, Garrett. Have you been seeing a whole bunch of new faces at school, Justin? As a matter of fact, I have. I wonder if they enjoy the school as much as I do. How could they not? Well, Jared has a scoop on that. Hi, I'm Jared Prowse with FLTV News, coming to you about the new students and teachers here at Faith. Mrs. Heisland told us how many new students are starting this semester. We have over 10 new students starting between, um, you know, from, from the beginning of the school after Christmas break, and then some starting also a semester on January 22nd. She also told us it wasn't odd for the students to start before the second semester. Well, it isn't odd um, because in the case of the stu new students who are starting now, right after Christmas, they've just moved to town. So they have to go to school somewhere. Uh, so, um, you know, no, it's not odd. Um, I do feel bad for students who have to start in a brand new school mid-year, but, um, you know, we're happy to have them. The new students will not cause crowding in the classroom. Well, no, because um, we don't 
let more students in unless we have room. Okay. So we have room. Okay. All right, go. We heard what the Dude, new teachers thought about faith. Faith is a great school. I, I've been very impressed with all the students and the faculty members and this campus out here. Uh, I'm so excited to get started teaching next Tuesday. It's something I'm really looking forward to. He also told us what he thought about our theology program. I'm really impressed with it. I, I can't wait to be a part of it and to uh, help contribute to the wonderful things that they're doing. I think they really, really know what they're doing. I think they're going to take it great places and I, and I hope to be a part of that. Okay, thank you. New students told us what they're enjoying about our school. Um, it's, my last school was a really academic school, and this school has much, it's like more of an, it has much more athletics, and it's, I like how it's, that you could be more, like, it's not as strict as challenging. Well, it looks like the new kids are going to enjoy it here at Faith. I'm Jared Powers from FLTZ News. Back to you in the studio. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget, I'm Justin. And I'm Gabby. Signing, signing off from FLTV. FLTV.